Hello everyone. So check out my bike. Yes, I got a bike. All right, so I'm back at the park. As you can imagine, well, Siskiyou County is a big county, but they don't have that many parks up here. Well, there are places you can go, but I am not physically, athletically capable of doing that yet on a bike or running. I can walk it, but we're not doing that. So anyway, I'm exercising my lungs. And yesterday I got to thinking about more about the Labradite. And one of the things that I have not addressed in my cross of perfect balance, but literally got addressed yesterday and a whole bunch of stuff when I did the uh, container exercise, just boom, felt totally different, um, was the emotional components. Now, your cross of perfect balance. I hadn't truly fully addressed all the emotions, but I am now, and I'm very excited about this. For some reason, the park has gotten busy, like really busy all of a sudden. Normally it is not this busy. Oh well, who would have thought? It's probably just me going, hey, I'm here, and everybody just shows up. It happens. Um, anyway, yeah, addressing my emotions has been fantastic in the last 18 hours, 16 hours, something like that. Because it dawned on me after I had posted the video for my dinner, my little red baby beets. And I was like, holy crap, need to really do that and address it. And I do have my Labradite on. It's a little heart, but I put it in this container here. So... Anyway, it is what it is, and I gotta say, if it wasn't for Franklin, well, in general, the bullshit in the last four and a half years, I don't think I'd be here now. I really don't. It has taken some jolting to get me awake, and jolting it has done, and I am done with it. I ain't doing it again. I said no. And being that we're in indigenous energy, Thank you, Master Lady Kira Ra and Sri Ramka. The whole community. This is amazing. I love it. And I gotta say, it's been easier working with my lungs, letting go of that all of that emotional stuff. Oh, one more thing. Okay, so right now there is actually a hawk that is circling the lake over here with the seagulls. And I saw it when I was coming in but now it's just like right there. And I'm just like, yes, my hawk. I miss my hawk. I had a personal hawk back home in Virginia. And I know it was my personal hawk because every time I was in trouble or something was going down, that hawk would show up and it had just this white streak that would go through, I think the right foot, yeah, the right wing. So I knew it was that hawk because every time, even if something was going on that I had, because I wasn't really awake then, I wasn't really trusting my intuition, that hawk would show up and just call, call and talk to me the entire time until after danger passed. I love it. It's great. This one's not talking. It's flying. We all need to spread our wings and fly. So have yourself a perfect day. I'm going to sit here, drink some water from my Tosa Blue Mountain water container here. Lemon water. And I'm going to continue going forward. Have a great one. Bye for now.